All right, cool. Uh, so here I have um, a couple of mixes as an example. Uh, we've got a default mix, which contains all of these elements. Um, I have in my little scene here. Oh, right. <laughs> um, do I have to undo that? Okay. Uh, so now I'm all off. Oops. Turn on, there we go. All right, so I've got uh, some cheesy music. I've got some mountain ambience. I've got some birds. The birds are 3D. All right, um, and uh, <clears throat> if I go to default mix, I can control each individual one during Pi, which is cool. But then what I've also created is um, I've got a little mixer, and what it does is when I spawn it, I give it a, uh, a control bus mix, and then it uh, loops through all the mix stages and grabs the addresses off of each bus that is in the mix, and it strips out control bus prefix and hands that, and then creates a fader widget, um, and then adds that to a horizontal box, and binds it to a custom event that uh, then uh, allows each individual fader to use its name with the uh, control bus prefix added back on as an address filter to set the control bus mix by filter with its value. Um, and my uh, user mix, which is just music and sound effects, is um, is what comes up, and so if I hit tab, it creates the widget. Let me uh, get rid of the zero. There we go. So here I've got you know music, sound effects. I'm gonna create a gentle mix. That's pretty cool. I think the address filtering is super uh, useful uh, for um, stuff like this. So I'm psyched 